Hi, hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sky, and today I'm gonna to be talking about some of the makeup that is on my low buy wish list. Now I feel really proud of myself. I haven't actually bought that much makeup this year. I am very grateful that I have received a lot of the makeup that I wanted to buy in PR, which is still kind of mind blowing to me. But there are some makeup products out there that I still really, really, really wanna buy, but I've just not gone around to it. So. This is just my little wish list. I'm just gonna warn you, most of it's blush. I I think I've accepted the fact that I'm a blush bitch. I love blush so much. It's one of my favorite makeup steps and I just want more, even though I have so many. Hang on, let me actually move over here so I can put the pictures up. So the first blush is the About Face Beauty. Um, I'm not too sure what they're called. I think they're called Freak blushes? Cream blushes? I don't know. They have a they have an interesting name. Um, but these cream blushes from About Face Beauty, I have never tried About Face and I absolutely love the vibes of it. It's just so cool and so... it's giving me what Urban Decay used to be like when they first started. I feel like Urban Decay is just like, okay, fuck off. But About Face is just so cool and I really like Halsey as a person. They're really awesome. I used to listen to their music a lot. Haven't listened to their stuff in like many years. I was, bruh, back in like 2015, 2014 Tumblr days. Oh, uh, do you remember the tattoo chokers? Like the streaks in your hair? Like I had a blue streak in my hair. I was wearing like a red flannel listening to Five Seconds of Summer and Halsey's first like EP. Like, oh, the song Empty Gold was everything. If you were a Tumblr bestie back in the day, let me know because I might have just thrown you right back. But anyways, these blushes are absolutely gorgeous. I have, I want to eat them. There's something about blush, specifically cream blush, that I just want to eat. Like, I'm, I'm I am actually quite hungry. I should probably get some food. But yeah, these blushes look absolutely gorgeous. And the packaging, I love that the outside matches the like color on the inside. I think I'd get one of the neutral shades and probably like one of the more brighter shades as well. I really like the names of the shades. They're quite like, <laughs> they're quite cheeky to me. I think one of them is called, um, I think one of them is called Cheeky actually. I don't remember. There's a shade called Shagged and I believe it's the like bright pinky one in the middle row right here. And I, it might not be, I'm just guessing, but I really, I, I, I do want that shade because of the name, Shagged. I just love the word shag. Every time I play Valorant, I always joke that um, instead of top fragging, we are top shagging. But yeah, I'd probably get one of the neutral shades and probably like the bright orange. Oh, I, About Face Beauty has come to Beauty Bay, which makes it so, so much more accessible to people in the EU. And I am waiting for Beauty Bay to get these on the website because as soon as they drop, I'm using some of my Beauty Bay points and snagging one of these. They're just so gorgeous. <laughs> A couple of bits from Odin's Eye. So right here are their uh, blushes and highlights. I just put the picture of all of them right here just so you can see them. Odin's Eye are one of my favorite brands. I haven't bought from them in a very long time. I think the last time I purchased from them was when they did their bullet lipstick launch. Everything else was gorgeous that they've released, but not enough for me to buy. But the blushes and the highlights, the imprints are gorgeous, the packaging is gorgeous. I know, I already have an Odin's Eye blush, actually. I don't know if this, these are still around. These, This is one of their flower blushes in Little Jasmine. This is really stunning. I love the formula of these. I really want one of the matte blushes, probably the light orangey one in the top left. I think it's called Warm Sun. Maybe? I don't remember. And the highlights are absolutely gorgeous. I love a fun colored highlight. Like, I mean, I'm wearing one today, not that you can really see it in my lighting. I'm wearing Kaleidos Moon Cruiser right now. I think I would love, like the shade that I really want is the light green because I'm a sucker for green. And I don't, the only green highlight that I own aside from like the uh, Kaleidos Gifted highlight, but this is like a multi-chrome that has green in it. The only other green highlight I own is laser glazer and the tone of this is very different to the one in Odin's eye. And I mean, the reason why I haven't bought from like this collection is because I have a lot of blush and also highlights. I use iridescent eyeshadows as my highlight all the time. So buying highlights nowadays doesn't really make much sense to me, but I still want it. I still really want it. They're just so beautiful. I'm just like, ugh. Oh. I'm absolutely in love. I definitely will buy them at some point. <laughs> Continuing on with Odin's Eye, right here are their liners. I, oh, 
I love pencil liners. I use them every single time I do my makeup. Most of my pencil liners are from Colourpop and I think I've, I've mentioned it on Instagram. I don't think I've mentioned it on here, but I, again, no longer support Colourpop. I took myself off their PR list because of the whole Harry Potter and giving money to JK Rowling, who is arguably one of the most evil people. So yeah, I am trying to find an alternative to my Colourpop creme gel liners because I believe if I look in my drawer, majority of my eyeliners are Colourpop and I'm not gonna get rid of them until like I just I do want to use them up and you know not throw them away but these look like such a good alternative and I've heard really good things about it and I love the tones that they have picked I really really like them and actually uh this is the one thing in this wish list that I may have got I'll update you in my low buy haul <laughs> when those arrive but I am so excited to get these they are beautiful I love the shades in here and yeah I'm excited okay let's talk about a little bit of eyeshadow right now so I'm just gonna use M Jones's picture Monica's picture right here to signify that I want to buy from the Terra Moons like expansion that they did every time Terra Moons releases it just I feel like it's a personal attack because it's always so beautiful and like look at these shades monica her swatches are like top tier one of the best swatches ever to exist i wouldn't get all of the shades here i feel like there's some of them that i'm like yeah i wouldn't get that much use out of but i really want the shades uh musefi musefi i'm pronouncing that wrong definitely i'm so sorry i really want that shade i want stella apotheosis ganymede cosmic collusion Collusion? Collision. And probably Protostar as well. Those are the shades I really want. Terra Moons are my favourite brand for metallic, sparkly, like, beautiful single shadows. Like, are they? yeah, they are my favourite. My, I can't even, I can't even lie. They are my favourite. <laughs> and their shipping to the UK is really, really quick. And I'm just, I, I love Terra Moons so much. I have to, you, you have to pry my Terra Moons shadows away from my cold, dead hands. I love them so much. And these shades are just singing to me, but I can't justify buying <laughs> some Terra Moons at the moment because I already bought some like earlier this year. So I'm going to wait a little bit, but uh, I want them so bad. A complexion product that I really want to try. This is from Nabla and it's their Skin Realist uh, Hydrating Balm. Hydrating Tinted Balm, like foundation, like tinted moisturizer product. Now I absolutely, if I'm going to wear like a base product, um, I like to wear the um, Auric Glow Lust. I'm actually wearing it today, like just by itself with concealer. And I love mixing this in with my Fenty Beauty Tinted Moisturizer. Like these two, if I want to have like beautiful skin, that's not super full coverage. Like mixing this together kind of creates more of a medium coverage, I'd say. I, I go for this combo. It just looks so nice on the skin, so beautiful. It works beautifully. And when Nabla released this, I was like, you, you, me, now. This reminds me of the Fenty Beauty Tinted Moisturizer, but a bit more glowy. And even though I have oily skin, um, and this probably wouldn't be the best for my skin type, it still intrigues me so much. And I still really, really want to try it because if, like I said, even though I do have oily skin, I love the Auric Glow Lust. So I really feel like I'd get along with this one. And I really like Nabla's products. I think Nabla is quite underrated. I'm wearing one of their blushes today. I really love Nabla as a brand and I'm really excited. I really, I'm really intrigued by this. Rightio, a couple of palettes that I absolutely am head over heels in love with. One of them is uh, not new at all. And the other two are a bit more newer, they haven't released just yet, but let's talk about the Blend Bunny Surge palette. Now, I've actually mentioned this in one of my makeup that I want, but I'm not gonna buy videos, and I mentioned that as much as I love it, it like I don't really use big palettes, and honestly, since that video and since this has released, I cannot stop thinking about it. It is just such a beautiful arrangement of colors. I love the way that Blend Bunny organizes her palettes, like they're just perfect. I love the neons at the bottom mixed with like the murky tones and the pastels and the really deep mattes. I'm a big sl I'm a big slag for deep mattes. And honestly, I feel like a lot of these tones I don't already have in my collection and the neons as well. Like I literally don't have anything like that. <laughs> I have shadows that are like close to neon. I think I have one shadow from Terra Moons that's like that light green, but I just I can't stop thinking about her. I cannot stop. And I think that just says 
that I... I think that speaks a lot. Like, even though this palette is older, I still have such an urge to purchase it and I'm so inspired looking at it. A bunch of my friends that own Blend Bunny palettes say that they're the best fucking thing on earth. Like, anyone that I know that has tried Blend Bunny has just sung their praises, like, immensely. And I have, like, had my eye on the Dollhouse palette as well. And I was gonna include it in this wish list, but realistically, I don't think I'll buy it because I already have the Glaminatrix Nearly Natural, so... And there is a little bit of overlap in that one. But this one, it's just, oh, I want her. I want her so bad, guys. If you own any Blend Bunny palettes, please, like, just tell me how good they are. <laughs> because, like, the thing is, though, shipping to the UK is expensive, which is why I haven't, like, justified buying uh, this palette. So I'm, like, waiting for, like, a time where I feel like I deserve it. Does that make sense? Like, do you ever, like, just think, okay, I really want this, but I'm gonna wait until, like, something happens where I'm like, you know what? Now's the time. It is the right time to purchase this palette. I am waiting for that time, and I really hope that time comes ASAP, because I just... I love her so much. I haven't been that inspired by a lot of palettes lately, but this one... Oh, I want. I want, I want, I want. Now, the other two palettes that I want are quads, and... I'm not too sure if maybe because these are still like brand new that I'm like oh my god these are so amazing and I don't know if I'll actually realistically buy these but I want to include them in this video anyway because I do feel strong like strong emotion towards them and these are the two new quads from Kaleidos. They are the Flowering Haze and the Glowing Iris quads. Now I know a few of my friends get Kaleidos PR so I'm just gonna wait for them to like swatch it and do looks with it and like review them for me. I'm using my friends as guinea pigs basically. And you'd think that I would go for the glowing iris quad like I'd be more drawn to that one but actually the flowering haze one is such a beautiful array of like cool toned mauvey purpley like not neutrals but kind of neutral like they could be they could be someone's neutrals to be honest but the color stories are so appealing to me they are so beautiful i probably would buy the flowering haze one over the glowing iris but if my friends have like talked about how good the glowing iris one is i might just sneak that in my sneak that in my basket they also released eyeliners in this collection like multi-chrome like pencil liners but i'm not super interested in those i'm just like yeah like they're pretty but like i I don't think I'd get enough use out of them to warrant spending, but this flowering haze quad especially, I just want. I want her. I love Kaleidos as a brand. They are great. I wish they came out with some lip clays with this collection. I mean, I know they have so many lip clays and I own most of them, but like, come on. I want some lip clays. Like, if that deep matte from Flowering Haze, if that deep purpley grey colour was a lip clay, like, something darker than Mercury Wave. That that kind of shade has a choke hold on me. I oh that as a lip colour I want. I want Kaleidos, make that a lip colour. Okay, and we are ending this video off with just a few more products. Just three, I believe. No, four. Four, my mistake. So the first one being some Patrick Tar blush duos. And I specifically want the shade Do We Know Her? Which can we tell a theme with blush shades that I like? I really like peachy oranges and like pinky peaches. Anything in that vague realm or anything like brown toned is like for me. Or do I want, oh, she's different. I don't know. One of these four shades, like they are all so pretty. I would probably, oh, I don't know. I like all the shades and actually very recently, where is it? I have recently purchased one of the Patrick Ta um, blush duos and I got the shade She's Baked. Um, this was kind of a spontaneous purchase because I'm gonna be honest, I was a bit tipsy when placing the order. I was trying to buy a replacement um, face wash and then here we, here we go. This happened. But this is what it looks like. It is one cream and one powder and I've only used it once. I really like the packaging as well. Like I like that there's like a little... Um, plastic thing over the cream so like whenever you use the powder it doesn't get into the cream and I've only used this once but the formula is so silky so smooth pigmented gorgeous um so I'm gonna play around with that a bit more but I can already tell you I've had my eyes on these Patrick Tar blush duos for ages for ages and I'm glad that I have one already but I already want another one 
I'm sorry, I already do. They are just so beautiful and gorgeous and yeah, I don't know which shade I would want. I, I would have to think on that. But I think Do We Know Her is one that like, I know I would get a lot of use out of. And finishing off this video with some Rare Beauty. Now Rare Beauty, I have wanted, to, again, I've wanted to try them for so long. Same with like um, About Face Beauty. But Rare Beauty is extremely difficult to get in the UK. Like, I don't even think you can get Rare Beauty in the UK. Like, I know that Sephora sells them, but we don't have Sephora here. Like, I think Sephora, like Europe, has Rare Beauty, but they don't ship to the UK, to my knowledge. I could be chatting shit, actually, but from what I remember, I don't think it's easily accessible, which has been really frustrating because they have so many things that I really want to try. They remind me a lot of Fenty Beauty, like the same kind of vibes, and I love Fenty Beauty so much. I mean, I need, like, some retailer to pick up Rare Beauty because I just, I just want them. But anyways, ran over. The first thing that I want to try from them is their concealer. I don't remember the name of it, but it's this one. I know that Betty Bean loves this, Betty Jean. She absolutely loved this concealer and I typically really like concealers that are kind of this kind of format, like format? Formula, where they're kind of like, this seems to be like not like incredibly thick and super high coverage. It's kind of, it seems like an in-between of the Fenty Beauty Eye Brightener and the Oma Beauty Stay Woke Concealer, which are my two favorite concealers <laughs> ever. It seems like it'd be a perfect in-between and I do love trying concealers out, but I only like having two at once. Like, I don't really like, I don't, I'm not like a concealer connoisseur, but I do like to dabble. And this one has always, for some reason, caught my eye. Maybe it's the packaging, maybe it's because it's Rare Beauty, maybe because I just really like the vibes and I just want to become Selena Gomez. I don't know, honestly, but I love, I really, really am interested in trying this. And you can't talk about Rare Beauty without talking about their freaking blushes. So <laughs> the first blush from Rare Beauty I really want to try are one of their uh, cream blushes in this format, like in the compact format. And this shade specifically, I want. I want this one. This one is nearly uh, natural. Same name as the Glaminatrix palette. <laughs> kind of funny. And honestly, like, this sort of shade is like a very much sky shade. Like, I feel like, I feel like the Patrick Tar blush is like the same shade as that. And I also have a Milani blush. That's a powder that is basically the same shade. And I have like other blushes that literally look just like that but I still want her. It looks like such a beautiful like sheer cream blush and even though I like my blushes to have a bit more punch to them, a bit more pigment, something about this is just so appealing to me and again I want to, I want to take a bite out of it. I'm hungry. And from what I have seen about it, it seems like really emollient and really creamy and just really like mm, delicious on the cheeks and it just looks so healthy. Like I want it. I don't really dabble much in cream like products. Like I don't really like cream bronzer or cream highlight, but cream blush I'm a bitch for. I love cream blush and I want, I want this so badly. And the final Rare Beauty blush that I'm gonna be talking about is one of their liquid blushes. Now I believe they have like a glowy formula and a matte formula. And in all honesty, I don't know which one I would try, but I do want to try like the same, it's like in the same packaging as the uh, concealer, but blush format. These are super pigmented and super blendable from what I have seen and I've just, mm, it speaks to my soul so much. I'm putting this picture right here because this is like the best picture where I could find like swatches of it. And I really love the shade Peace and Joy. I think it, one of those shades I'd probably pick up. I really like Love as well, but like, I think I would prefer like Love in a like compact uh, cream formula if I were to get one of those instead of liquid because because these are like, ridiculously pigmented. Like, I think these are one of the most pigmented blushes I have ever seen. So like, I feel like if I got a really like deep shade for me, even though I could make it work, I would have to be a bit more careful with it. So I think I would probably get the shade Peace and or Joy. Peace and Joy. Peace and Joy. <laughs> the shades look absolutely beautiful. So like delicious and like healthy on the cheeks. I'll probably get like the creamy formula over the matte formula. Rare Beauty, come to the UK, please. I want, I want them so bad. Like, I mean, look at these shades. I love these shades so much. And the names are really like nice. I don't know, they're sweet. The vibes of Rare Beauty, I just want to become. I want to become, I wish like I could become both Rare Beauty and About Face Beauty. 
if we're talking about like mainstream brands. Like I feel like those are my aesthetics. And like Half Magic Beauty as well. I really want to try Half Magic. There's nothing they've released that I've been like, oh, I really want that. But again, the vibes are just immaculate. But anyways, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Do let me know what's on your low buy wish list. Do you own any of the things that I talked about? And if you do, let me know what your thoughts because I am curious. Maybe, actually, maybe that would be a bit dangerous if you told me your thoughts, because that would enable the goblin more. But at the same time, I want to know. I'm curious. If you'd like to see more makeup content from me, then you can follow me on my Instagram. It's Beauty by Sky right here. I post all my looks there, and I'm active on there every single day. If you'd like to support me further, I do have my own small business, Rain Cloud Candles Co. We are a small queer-owned business based in the UK, and we make handmade candles. The link to shop will be down below, along with our social media, if you'd like to support us. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you here. And as always, stay safe, wash your hands, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.